I am a newcomer, but I'm also a senior. I'm kind of like that uh, six-year-old guy who decided to go back and get his elementary school diploma. Look what I can do! You know, that sort of thing. So I thought it'd be fun tonight to share some thoughts about what it's been like to be a newcomer so far this semester. Um, please note these next few minutes are all in good fun, and that Dan has approved every single joke, so if you take offense, I'll leave it. Uh, and before I get started, I'd like to thank Renato for proving multiple times this semester that white boys still can't dance. <laughs> The very first person I met on the following team was actually Lydia. Um, met her the very first night, and within a couple minutes, she and I had made a deal. Um, I said I would help her with econ if she helped me learn how to dance. And little did I know that I would be getting texts and phone calls at 1 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays asking for econ help. I'm like, all right, you know, I should keep my end of the deal. So I uh, decided to turn to a game. She gets a question right, she takes a shot. She gets one wrong, I take a shot. I kept losing. Yeah. So did my liver. Not and um, you know, over the next couple weeks, I kept meeting more and more people. And at one point, I met Alice Goldberg and Matt Dusenberry at the same time. And I got really excited because I thought I finally got into Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I got to know Dusenberry a little bit more, and he's uh, a great guy to hang out with. But, man, I gotta be honest with you, all right? There was a point this semester where I was a little scared that once you went through every girl, you were going to start flirting with me. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> your strategy has worked out for you. It's worked out. But, I mean, you almost made the ballroom team have all the girls sign waivers promising not to sue. <laughs> and uh, speaking of girls, you know, as a newcomer, I was a little nervous about the whole partner search thing. And I was mostly concerned with two things. Is she going to suck? And is she going to be ugly? And thank God, my partner neither sucks nor is she ugly. And it's been great. I've learned lots of things about her, you know. And actually, her favorite cookie is an Oreo. Didn't know that. Speaking of Oreos, did you guys see Dusenberry's tan for OSB? <laughs> I mean, man, Alex could have worn that tan and gotten his hair back to normal color. I mean, Ahmet could have worn that tan and looked like he'd been out in the sun. <laughs> Uh, you know, speaking of Ahmed, you know, whenever I think of Ahmed, I, I, I think about our guys now. You know, we did manly things. We went bowling, we talked about chicks. You know, it was a lot of fun. And uh, those couple games, you know, came down last couple frames between me, Ahmed, and Doug. Where's Doug? Is he? He's, he's, he's up there. All right. Anyway, I love just watching you and Doug dance. It's really great. But if I were you, I'd be a little worried. Did you see Doug and Vincent's Argentine tag? <laughs> Sparks fire. That was awesome. <laughs> but that's the thing I love about the ballroom uh, organization is, you know, it's the only organization I know of where the biggest threat to a marriage could be a little Asian guy that sells shoes. <laughs> and speaking of shoes, speaking of shoes, when we were first able to buy shoes that night, that night exemplifies the difference between a guy and a girl. Us guys were like. Give, give me any pair you want. I don't really care. I'm going to complain about it for a week. But you girls, you guys were like shopping for shirts. Like, I like that one, but, but that one looks cuter. Oh my god, girl, those are totally for you. <laughs> they're, like, they're the exact same shoe. There's no difference. And, um, and also another thing I like, you know, we, we all wear the same shoes. We got, we got seniors who are newcomers. We got sophomores on B team. But let's be honest. You watch people dance, you know what team they're on. Like, you watch a couple dance. And if they look like their high schoolers losing their virginity, you know, getting all flustered, getting frustrated, even crying a little bit, <laughs> you watch A team, man, they're having sex on the dance floor, they're in love with each other, in love with each other. Except apparently for Malin and Curtis. I, uh, I don't know if you guys were there that night when they taught lesson. Let me quote Malin for a second. So you know guys, in the rumba, you have to be in love with each other. You gotta think that that person is the hottest person in the world. Like when I dance with Curtis, I imagine somebody different. <laughs> Buka de Bethel. Joseph, hang on a second. And, um, uh, 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 Joseph wants it about 20 minutes into dinner. Walking a little straight. I made it, guys. I'm here. I'm a little more tipsy than I thought, but I made it. 
and that man, you did the most ridiculous laugh I have ever heard. Like, I won't do it, like, I can't give it justice. But let me just say, it was like a squirrel being tickled. <laughs> you teaching lesson, you know, all of you guys teach us lessons. We got a lot of advice this semester from everybody. Um, one piece of advice I'll never forget is Alex. We were uh, doing New Yorkers, and he told me and Anya to do it like we were taking our bras. Just <laughs> <ripping them off. laughs> and, uh, he said that, and Dues and Mary's ears perked up. <laughs> uh, I, I apologize, man. I appreciate that you a lot, but I, I apologize. But there is somebody else who I should give a little bit of heat to. Um, my first Saturday lesson, my very first thought was, who is that old guy flirting with the same girls I'm flirting with? <laughs> not cool, not cool. And um, but you know, every time I hear Steve talk, like he, he scares me a little bit. <laughs> He's here. I wait for the day where he comes up to me and says, "Okay, stop. Let's play a game called Stop Sucking. <laughs> it's called doing a cha cha cha, not taking a crop crop crop." <laughs> and, um, but you know, every time I hear Steve, like I think he would actually hate Bond. Hey, hear me out. You'd hate him. There was this one time Bono was at a concert, and sometimes he just stopped, and he just started clapping his hands like this. And he said, every time I clap my hands, a child in Africa dies. <laughs> Steve would be the guy to yell, then stop clapping your bloody hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 